Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to virtualize a WebSphere message broker web service with the Rational Integration Tester, part three using a data set for results lookup from Transformer Tech Inc. Today we're going to be showing you how to create a stub using a simple data set. We will be using a CSV file to look up data that we are passing through to our stub. This allows us to change data for a test without opening a Rational Integration Tester. It can be very helpful. So we'll go over how we're going to do this. First, we're going to have an overview of our previously created stub infrastructure. Then we're going to review our steps to implement a data set. We're going to create a stub using a data set. And then we're going to test our solution using the virtualized web service. So this is our current infrastructure. We have an application that's connecting to a virtual stub, a virtual web service running on Rational Integration Tester. And it's connecting and sending a request and a reply through an HTTP proxy. To implement the simple data set, we're going to record a test scenario and then we're going to create a stub to use a simple data set from these recordings. We're going to create more entries into a data set so we can better model a test. And then we're going to test with an application, and in this case it's going to be SOAP UI. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to get started inside the Rational Integration Tester. We're going to stay inside the architecture school, inside the logical view, and then we're going to record our operation. So we can create a stub. So first thing we're going to do is right-click the operation, go to record. And it should bring us to the recording studio. We're going to select the local transport. And we'll hit OK. And we're going to start recording. We're just going to register these with our HTTP proxy. OK, we're going to go to SOAP UI to record a test through the live system. We sh this here is our credit card number, and we have a 606, so we should get an authorized reply back. OK, we see that we have our, exit, our credit card number masked out, and we have our status as authorized. So we'll go back to the integration tester, we'll select these operations, we're going to open the save wizard, select the stub, we'll go to a simple data set, go to next, One more time, next again, All right? and so it's going to think that these fields are what we're going to want to look up, but we really only want to look up through a credit card number and security code, so we're going to select the other ones and ignore these. All right. So it's all set up right, we'll go to next. Now we want these amounts and stuff, but we actually just want them to be the reply amounts. So we're just going to change this to reply. And the credit card number, same thing. And the authorization number. And we'll hit OK. And we'll hit next one more time and we'll create a name for the sub called Web Service Data Stub. Hit finish. So this is going to create a CSV file for us, a common delimited file. And it's also going to create a test data set for us. So we'll go ahead and open that. And we can see the data that I created for us. We only have one row right now. And if we hit open, it should open this up in Notepad so we can work with it. All right, and we'll add another row here. We'll just copy this one. And we'll give it a not authorized and because it's going to have a security code 605 All right, so we'll save this and we'll run our stub wait for that to get initialized, get ready okay we'll go back to SOAP UI we want to make sure this is going to hit our stub and not the live system so we'll leave that up and now if we run this test we should get a response back it's the same as this one so we'll run that get the same response see that it hit the stub and then we can run another test with a different with a different security code which should give us a not authorized so what it's going to do is use these credit card numbers and the security code to go into the data set to look up to use those two values to look up the response so it's going to look for the credit card and also the security code, and it's going to look in that, the, that row that matches that, and it's going to send us the response. Thank you for viewing this video tutorial on how to virtualize a WebSphere message broker web service with a rational integration tester. This is part three, using a data set for results lookup. Be sure to check out our other videos on rational integration tester and WebSphere message broker from Transforma Tech Inc. Thank you.